this video looks at two different types of power questions. The first one looks at certs, and we're asked to add together two different certs. Now the trick to add certs is to try to simplify the certs first. Now at root 12, we look for a square factor of 12, the highest square factor possible. Now 12 is 4 lots of 3, where 4 is a square number. So we can therefore break this up into root of 4 times root of 3, and root of 4 is 2, so this is 2 root 3. Root of 75, similarly, the highest square factor of 75 is 25. 25 times 3, so in a similar way, root 25 times root 3 is 5 root 3. There was, of course, a big hint in the question about the root 3 because it gave us this root 3 here. So to add together those two thirds is the same as adding together 2 root 3 plus 5 root 3. So how many root 3s are there? There are 7 lots of root 3. So to add thirds, we always begin by simplifying the thirds. The second question asks to put three numbers in order of size. These are fractional indices. Now, 27 to the 2 thirds is the same as 27 to the 1 third, all squared. Now, 1 third means a cube root. So what number cubed is 27? Well, 3. So that's just 3 squared. And 3 squared equals 9. So this number here is equal to 9. 64 to the 1 third, as already mentioned, 1 third means cube root. Um, the cube root of 64 is 4, because 4 cubed is 64. So therefore, 64 to the 1 third is 4. And finally, 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Well, this is the same as 4 to the half, i.e. over 2, all cubed. Well, power of a half means square root. Or what number squares to give 4? Well, that's 2. So this equals 2 cubed. And 2 cubed just equals 8. So therefore, that number equals 8. So in order of size, that's the lowest. Then 8, so 4 to the power of 3 over 2. And finally, 27 to the power of 2 thirds. So I've written down the original numbers in order of size.